Chinese store in Loma is closing its doors after 40 years in business. I sat down with the owner of the Trash and Treasure shop, whose buildings are packed with the past. I've been in this business for 40 years and enjoyed it immensely. <laughs> it was 87-year-old Mariona's sister who got her hooked on antiques. Now, the more she bought, the more interested I got. That interest grew into a lifelong passion for searching and selling. I, I just decided, well, maybe there's something in this for me too, you know, so. That's when the trash and treasure shop was born. How about $15? Ken? Got it. And 40 yeah. years later. I'll see what I can find. Mariona still opens her store each week, ready for anyone Hi. searching for their own treasure. Those are branding irons. Over the past four decades, she's built up a huge inventory that keeps customers curious. Is that all the screwdrivers you got in there? Coming back. I know just about everything and I know just about the price of everything. Now Mariona tells me that she keeps certain customers in mind when she's looking for items to buy at her Trash and Treasure store, be it an old school paper cutter, to personal apparel and, of course, toys for the kids. Pick up some things that they ask for, some come back and some never show up, you know. But Mariona hasn't been picking up any new treasures lately. I just got a lot of, lot of stuff to get rid of. She's decided to let go of the four buildings that are filled with her life's work. I'm a, a little old lady <laughs> and uh, it just, uh, the Lord just telling me, this, it's time for you to slow down. The future remains uncertain for the shop. Uh, it's going to be very iffy this year. But Mariona is hoping someone who shares her same passion, hopefully some nice person or couple, will take over her trove of treasures. Whatever happens, what the Lord has in store for me, I go from there. So, <laughs> like I said, I get a little emotional, but And the Trash and Treasure shop was closed during the month of April, but Mariona says she's going to try to reopen again this month to sell off more inventory.